Hello people, at my workshop again, and this time I making a video about installing the bearings in an electric motor shaft. I had a request about this video, so I I made my mind to make it. And today I have a beautiful weather outside. When I arrived in here, it was actually colder here inside than outside, because I had my fan off. Okay, so I went to my local bearing shop. Actually, it is called Technico Center in Oriketo, Turku. I really recommend that place. And I got two new bearings and the key. And these cost 25 euros. These are the best bearings they had. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna move to the press. And I guess I'll stop here and come back to you soon. Okay, I now have the press set up. And this is my setup. So I have a piece of square tube like this underneath here. A round tube would be better of course, but at the moment I don't have any. So actually I'm even lucky to have this square tube right here now. And it happens to be the right size. And the right size to push bearings in is the kind of size that only touches the inner ring of the bearing. This is very close to the outer ring, but it doesn't touch it. So it only pushes the inner ring. And maybe you can see I did a little bit of grounding on the edges. So I'm gonna be extra sure that these edges won't touch right here. Because you will ruin, ruin a new bearing if you push it on the outer ring. And also if you hammer it. Hammering also kills bearings. And the way I'm gonna do it now, this is a pretty long piece to be set on a press. But I could do the setup pretty easily anyway. So I have this square tube under here and the bearing is now just a little bit started. I pressed it in just a little bit. And it should go all the way to here. And with my cylinder, I am pressing the whole axle through this bearing. And right here, I have enough room for the shaft to go down. And also, I have a hole in my table now. <laughs> okay. And never press on the shaft itself. I have a piece of soft aluminum in between. So let's go. Let's see how it goes on. Here we go. It took very little force. And here we are, made it through. One bearing installed and the other one to go. I think I will show you that also, just a little moment. And here we have the second bearing going in. I should be running out of room in the tube in a while. Let's see. Yeah. It is about two millimeters short. 
So I'll now pull the cylinder back out and figure out something to put in between there. But I think this covers the pressing back of the bearings. And maybe another way to do this, of course, is to heat the bearings so they become a little larger and you can just, just slide them in. But I am not very keen on doing that. I don't know, these kind of bearings have steel protection rings. These are the old bearings. Uh, so maybe these can be heated up. But at least the kind of bearings that have plastic right here as protection should never be heated. But if you don't have a press and you have a way to heat the bearings, you might consider that also. But in this case, in my case, it was a lot easier to just press them in place. Okay, I will continue in a moment. Okay, both bearings on place and I will also put the key in. It went on pretty easily. I just put it on there and then I tapped it a little bit with a plastic screw hammer, screwdriver and I mean. Um, and I already tried on, tried putting on one of these end cups on the bearing and it went on maybe halfway. But that's okay for now. And next, what's gonna happen, I'm gonna put this rear end cap on. I'm gonna put it on right there, this place. And this motor had a spring washer like this in here. So I'm gonna put it back. And I'm gonna set this piece back on. It should be on. Should go on. Okay, I think I need my both hands. So, just a minute again. Okay, the end cap went on pretty easily. Again, I used my screwdriver to tap right here a little bit. It went on real nice. And I just made sure that these threaded holes are in these grooves so I can install these long bolts but this can be actually turned by hand even after it's put on it's not that tight and what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna take this shaft and I'm gonna put it here and again I need my both hands but the way I'm gonna do this I'm gonna use my other hand to hold the end cap in place and with my other hand I'm gonna push this in and when I get this side bearing started going on this housing I will put on these bolts and use them to pull this whole thing back together okay just a minute again okay things are starting to look pretty good now so, what I did, I, I first slide the shaft back on and these bolts were not quite long enough to reach from here to here. So I used my copper hammer very slightly on this end cap. So I got it started about, about five millimeters on this side of the cup and that was enough for these long bolts to reach here so I could use them to pull the motor back together and I just used a wrench like this like this only I didn't put enough pressure to need to hold it like this only like this with my one hand 
and one bolt at a time very carefully. And after some turns to the screws, it was back together. And the last thing, last thing to do was to put the pulley back on. And I got it started on the key. And at first I used my copper hammer and a piece of wood like this. And I slightly tapped it on a little bit to get it started. And then I used, where did I put it? I used a 10 millimeter bolt in this threaded hole at the end of the shaft. And then by using this big nut and these old bearings, I pushed the pulley all the way back to its place. And finally I tightened the screw the set screw and now it is basically back together and I already did a trial run and I will show you that a little later this is by the way the bolt that I used to put to push the pulley back in and now the final thing to do is putting a fan back on and screwing the cover right here which is only on by these little screws that go right here. Okay, and this, of course, is pretty simple to, be, to put back on. Just like this, a little bit more force is required. I think I'm gonna use my copper hammer and this piece of wood again and tap it right here. And then put this collar back on and tighten the screws. Let me do that and then I will show you a trial run. Okay, time for a trial run. I have the fan back on, but I didn't put the cover back on yet because I can't reach right here with the motor still attached to the table. So that's gonna be possible to attach the cover only when the motor is off the table. Okay, let's have a trial run. And maybe you remember what the motor sounded like before the bearing change. And listen to this. Well, the fan is making a lot of sound. But there is absolutely no bearing sound now. Compared to the old bearings, this is extremely silent. So, I would call this a successful repair. A very success successful repair, actually. I think I'm gonna run it now for a few minutes and see if it works the way it should. And if it seems to be running okay after maybe five or ten minutes, I'm gonna take it off the table, but I'm gonna leave this test cable in place, and I'm gonna attach the motor to its place right here, and actually try to run the motor and the compressor without all of these electrics. That's gonna be pretty thrilling. You are gonna see that tomorrow. Or maybe even today. We will see. Okay, so, but the motor is now running again and in one piece. And I showed you a little bit how to take it off and how to put it back together. It's a pretty simple job, very simple job. If I hadn't videoed all of this, maybe this whole operation, putting it back together, might have taken maybe 30 minutes to do. It's very simple if you have a press. So, I think the next video you are gonna see 
is about putting the motor back in the compressor and trying to run it with no electrics at all. Okay, take a look at this weather. It should be like this until Friday, but on weekend we should be getting about 10 centimeters of snow again, which I really don't like. Okay, I wish you can enjoy a weather like this in your country also. The birds are singing and it's maybe 8 or 9 degrees Celsius. It's pretty warm. Okay, thank you for watching and have a nice evening.